of the high life musicians who took inspiration from Nana Kwame Ampedu. Nana Afko, how do you feel today? I've been sad, you know, sad because um, the king of Ghana music or the king of high life music is gone. So, you know, it's a, it's a very sad moment, but, you know, life goes on. Okay, so when Nana Ampedu was alive, what did you learn from him? A lot, a lot. I actually grew up listening to a lot of Nana Ampedu songs, you know, because, um, you know, back in the day, I am not somebody who listens to, you know, one particular, you know, act. So I listen like widely, but Nanam Pedu was a focal point because, you know, whenever you listen to his songs, you are, you are going to take some one or two pieces out of them because, you know, he loves to tell stories. And so you are likely to take some one or two. So I actually listened to him whilst I was growing up. And I even met him, you know, me and him traveled together me and him also you know did some stuff together so we had a chance to like interact and talk about stuff I quite remember when we went somewhere and um, there was this song that he sampled from Cuba and you know I caught his attention to it and we laughed about it and he he told me the reason why he did it so you know I was quite a bit closer to him so you know hearing him pass away was just a very sad moment but you know I've heard you perform his songs on a number of occasions how did you feel? How do you feel when you perform the number of this song? I mean, um, I, I took a lot of inspiration from him. And so whenever I'm on the stage and I'm doing high life, I try to chip in some one or two songs from him. And plus, when I'm compiling my songs for performances, you know, I look at the songs that follow the same rhythm and pattern. And so most of his songs falls into mine. And so it makes it easy to, you know, do a medley if, if I want to do so, you know. Uh, I took inspiration from him, so, you know. When he passed away, one thing some people said was for the country or for the government to give him a state burial. What you've seen today, are you okay with it? Very, very satisfied. I am very satisfied because looking at uh, the president is here and the chief of staff is here, the uh, speaker of parliament and all the important people who matters are here. So it means that, you know, we have given him a very befitting burial. Somebody was just telling me a while ago that looking at the occasion today, he has been, he has been given what he's due, you know, and, and I'm happy, I'm happy that he's been actually recognized. Okay, no, no, of course, it's been a while I heard a song from you. Are you retiring? Are you retiring prematurely? No, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm working. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just have to take a little back seat, look at the system, because I, I think the music is, is a bit evolved. I think the music is a bit evolving, you know, so I've taken a back seat a little bit. I, I released a song in, I actually released a song in April. But I'm, I'm taking time at the back seat, just looking at the system before I make a move. But you're surely going to hear from me before Christmas. That the half cool.